Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Indic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to easily find and remove all empty folders present in Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as remove empty directories. So, once you search the applications, you can see a tons of websites and on the second list you can see the developer website just click on it now you can see the official website for the applications you can just scroll down below as you can see here windows installer normal edition recommended so you need to download this one just you can select any download options i will just select this the first one from the github just click on it start downloading but for a few seconds so the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it's been downloaded and let me close the web browser so now you can see our setup application so just double click it to run the installer now click on next to start installing click on I accept the agreement click on next click on next click on next select this create a desktop icon click on next click on install wait for a few more seconds until the final installation is done so finally the application has been installed successfully so you can just click on finish to start using this applications so finally you can see the user interference of these applications so here you can see uh, please choose a directory to scan so what you want to scan that means which folder you want to scan right now by default it is selected on the C drive right so you can click on browse and you can select the respective drives or any folders where you want to check for the empty folders so if you are willing to just find and scan for the respective folders then you can select from here so I'll just scan the anterior C drive right now I'll just click on OK selecting the C drive and below you can see your scan folders just click on it to scan the anterior C drive for the empty folders so you need to wait for some minutes or depending upon how big their C drive file is so have patience and let it completely scan So finally you can see the scan has been completed. Now you can see your options here. Delete folders right. So for clicking on this you can see your total empty directories which is available in my C drive. So in your case it may be different. So it took a lot of time as you can see it almost took a half an hour. So it depends on how big your respective drive or folder is. So it may take uh, half an hour or a minutes or some hours also so have patience if you want to scan it completely so once you have scan is completely done then you can see a delete folders just click on it to start deleting so you don't need to do anything it will start deleting all the empty directories that you have that this software has found out so you can see here total number of empty directories to be deleted one four two one zero so it may not delete some directories which are right protected or which are unable to access since some folders may be needed for your system so you don't delete those needed system or empty folders which is created by the system itself so it will show you how many empty folders it has deleted so right now you can see it started to count so you may not get the exact number so it will show you the masses why it has not deleted so you can see icon descriptions for your easy reference so once again wait for some minutes until the complete deleting is done so 
So finally the deleting of empty folders or the directories has been completed. So you can see here the total number of deleted empty directories is this much and now you can see fail to delete this much. So we have found total more than this much. So you might be thinking why it's failed to delete lots of empty directories or folders, right? I've already mentioned you earlier since some empty folders are needed by the system itself. So in the C drive, which I have scanned, contains most of the system files. So it will not be touched or it will not be deleted. So those which can be deleted, you can see here, they are already deleted this much of empty directories so the rest which is needed by the system will not get deleted so this is very useful to find and remove all empty directories present in windows computer and without any risk so you should definitely try this cool applications if you are willing to find and remove all empty directories present in windows computer so if you find this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching